All right, we got some drip marketing regarding the 1.2 trailer of Wuthering Waves. Give it to me. I still don't get Chang Li. Please pray for me. I want Chang Li so bad. Okay. <laughs> it's the dancing turtle echo. Yo, during the launch of Wuthering Ways, this dancing disco turtle was actually so it's such a viral point of why people wanted to play too. This lolly, have we seen it before? <laughs> new characters, new characters. Ji <laughs> Yen. My girl Jinchi. Please come home, Cheng Li. In the turquoise moon glow is the theme of 1.2 patch, huh? Embrace my emotions fully and create the art my heart yearns for. This is of the greatest importance to me. I'm probably gonna get shit on for this, but for whatever reason, she reminds me of a Shin Yan from Genshin Impact. I think it's just like the glasses. It feels like if Shin Yan had a daughter, that would be what she is. Zezi. Zezi. I gotta wait for Mr. Poke to pronounce the uh, name for me to understand. Cause like, all these Wuthering Waves, you know, obviously they're like Chinese names, and I don't know how to fucking pronounce it, so for the longest time I was like, Ji Yan, Ji Yan, and then Mr. Poke's like, Ji <laughs> Yan, and I'm like, oh shit, my bad, it's Ji Yan. This is of the greatest importance to me. Art theme. I won't give up easily, no matter who or what I'm up against. I feel like if she's supposed to be some sort of support character, she's gonna be a must pull. She's apparently sub DPS for Jinshi. Did? No, don't do this to me. Did Yin Li just get fucking power crept? No, don't do this to me. I'm going to assume that these ink drops are basically the off-field, you know, things that stay around for additional damage while you're off-field, obviously. To create art that truly resonates, I must first accept Zizzy. myself. Okay. Those willing to entrust their wishes to the Moon Tree Lodge. Yo, did someone say that like, this guy was supposed to be a free unit? Well, hold up, hold up. Couple weeks ago... Wait, no, no. Didn't MTAS literally make a video? Yeah, he did. Free fucking resonate. He is the free unit. Got it, got it, got it. We're all getting one. Let's go. This is our doctor ratio. Hope their desires will be chosen and fulfilled. Those wishes were their cries oh, for help. Oh, shit. Cybernetic guy? The experiment begins. Disruption. Main DPS? Configuration. This cyborg theme is so unique to World Runway because so far everyone's style, like this is very futuristic while everyone else is just has like, you know, the, the separate theme. Verity, confined within limits. People say he'll power creep Kalchar. I can see that. I mean, like Electro DPS and he's already doing this shit. Feels bad, man. Seeing everyone's wishes come true and everyone enjoying the festival is enough for me. Xiang, Xiang Li Yao. Xiang Li Yao. New resonator. Free one, though. We are aware of certain painters rejected by the art exchange, nursing grudges, and resorting to threats. It's all my fault. Huh. Painter? Never heard of him. Really? Do we have to risk it all? You There's some drama going on with, you know, Zezzy's painting, and this guy looks cocky as fuck, so what is this? Some kind of art gallery museum guy is basically, you know, denying her art because it's too good or some kind of personal grudge? I'm not sure. Risk it all? You created masterpieces I wish came from me. Bold. Free. Only when you connect with your truest feelings can you create an exceptional piece of art. <laughs> lantern Rite Festival, bro. Our Lantern Rite Festival is coming. <laughs> Let's go, Turquoise Moon Glow! 
The art is amazing, though. Like, it's funny, because we're saying what an art, man. But, like, she is a literal fucking artist. The whole theme with this is very beautiful. August 15th, huh? One week out. Zizi, Xiang Liao, is there any more details? We're not gonna get the gauntlet for free, right? Like, we're gonna get the cyber guy for free, but, like... Could you imagine if they gave us a signature weapon for free? I mean, even HSR didn't do that shit for the light cone for Dr. Ratio, so I'm not gonna have any expectations. More limited time events, anything else? More events, basically just that, right? And pretty much that's it. I think the main content was- Oh, what is this? New Depth of Illusion Realm, got it, got it. I actually do enjoy those events, the fighting ones, but that's pretty much it, man, for the drip marketing of 1.2 to release in August 12th. She is looking like a must-pull. Just based off of my intuition of playing gacha games and how off-field DPS and support DPS is so valuable, like, ooh, it's gonna be maybe not a must-pull, but definitely gonna have a lot of value. So good luck to everyone that's gonna be pulling, man.